All right, day 31. I think this is uh, page 44 and 45. We need to talk about this. We're talking about rate. When, when we talk about rates, we're talking about like a speed of something. So a machine fills up 60 bottles of syrup in five minutes. How many bottles of syrup can it fill up in one minute? Okay, let's see. I think that maybe the best way to do this is if it takes five minutes to fill 60 bottles, then um, it was probably... Okay, wait, let me get this thing set up. I got to get my page, new page all set up. There we go. If it takes five minutes to fill 60 bottles, then in one minute, How many bottles does it fill? Um, obviously, it's less than 60. In fact, I would need to multiply whatever the number is, maybe x, by 5 to get 60. So x times 5, or yeah, it will go 5 times x is equal to 60. Does that make sense? Because X is my number of bottles that could fill in one minute, and then in five minutes, if I multiply that by five, I should get X is equal to 60, or uh, X times five is equal to 60. So in order to get rid of this five, I simply divide both sides by five, because this thing being multiplied. This cancels out that, and so I get X is equal to 12. So it takes 12 minutes. The... the uh, the rate of this machine is 12 bottles per minute. And we say per when we make a division sign, when we're talking about rates. For example, you've heard this before when dad drives on the freeway at 55 miles per hour. So when we're talking about rates, you're usually going to see a unit that looks like that. In this case, it's bottles per minute. So the machine fills the bottles at a rate of 12 bottles per minute. Um, this means it fills 12 bottles every minute. Okay, well, that makes sense. All right, moving on. Robert paid 20, is paid $20 for four hours of work. How much is he paid per hour? So $20 per hour. I think that maybe... The easy way to kind of think about this is um, you're looking at, you're trying to find dollars per hour. And the way you can go about doing that is um, how much money did he make altogether? 20, $20. And how many hours did he work? Four hours. So if I were to simplify this fraction, 20 divided by four is five. Apparently, Robert is making less than minimum wage in Hawaii, at, at least, and his rate is $5 per hour. Okay. Water is flowing into a tap, which is basically uh, from a tap, which is a sink, at a rate of 100 liters for every four minutes. Find the rate of flow in liters per minute. Okay. So it's, you want liters per minute and it's going a hundred liters every four minutes I can reduce this to be 25 liters per minute and I abbreviated instead of having to write out liters I just use the script L yeah so I would say 25 liters per minute a machine makes toy cars at a rate of 120 Per minute, that's 120. So every minute, this machine pops out 120. How many toy cars will it make after six minutes? Okay. So if it makes, hmm, I think maybe this way. I'm going to start going about teaching you like this. Remember when we were doing conversions? This could be a good conversion. If he has six minutes, okay. And I want to. I know that 120 toys equals one minute 
this is a conversion. That's the problem that they told me. They, they gave me this information in here. 120 cars per minute. So I'm going to divide this by one minute and put the 120 toys at the top. This is a conversion. You cancel out this minute and that minute. And you multiply 6 times 120. Um, that would be 6 times 12. Not very good at this. Let's see. Is that 72? Yeah. 72. Uh, well, no, 720. So apparently this machine can pop out 720 toys every for every six minutes. A lamp can flash five times per minute at this rate. Okay, wait, I don't know if you can see that. A lamp can flash five times per minute at this rate. How many times would it flash in 30 minutes? Okay. You simply multiply five times 30. That would be five times three, which is... 15 add an extra zero that would be 150 so in 30 minutes this thing flashes 150 times